find out why Prague is like a duck. Above the surface, it sits still. It's calm, pleasant, inviting. But underneath the surface, it's splashing its feet all over the place, just desperately trying to stay afloat, or in a case with rockers, not going insane. <laughs> so here's to ducks and to Prague, the most inspiring of all the genres in all the experimental and wacky ways. Find out on this episode of Graphic Metal. <laughs> Metalheads, welcome to Graphic Metal, where metal is celebrated with design in mind. It's finally here. Our latest top picks for prog, rock, and metal. We got them for April, May, June, and even for July. We're going to be presenting them in each month, so some honorable mentions in our top pick for starting with April and working our way even to July, because... You're not going to want to miss this one. This album already is the top pick for July, and it's not getting beaten. There's no way. Absolutely not. In fact, it, it might even be in the running for the top overall in the entire year. It's that freaking good. So let's get to it. <laughs> Void Kind by Divine or DVNE. I'm not 100% sure how you supposed to pronounce it. The Prague Sludge post metal album released on April 19th. Half the time, they remind you of bands like The Ocean Collective, Isis, or Macedon. But then the other half, it's like Neurosis or Enslaved. This one seems them, it, it, it sees them up their game. I feel like. On every level, the production in particular sounds like greatly improved from, from their previous albums. It, it, it's, it's as if like the riffs just, they, they sound clear and everything just hits harder. Uh, you can feel this one. Graphic Well rating gives it an 84. Mythical River by Elephant Nine, a prog rock album released on April 19th. Jazz Me's Prog feels like a time capsule from the 70s, listening to the likes of like a Mahavishnu uh, orchestra. The aura and vibe this one casts is just sensational. It's meant to be played via a vinyl in just a, a relaxing state. It's warm, it's soothing, it's inspiring. It's like having a conversation with your grandparents. Graphical rating gives it an 86. Black Tides by Kulga, a surf rock prog psychedelic metal album released on April 2nd. Surf psychedelic hasn't sounded this good in 75 years. It's that simple. It's a hell of a debut from them. I mean, they, they captured the essence of, you know, the late 50s, fused with, you know, metal and prog uh, tendencies. Just this thing is, is just wickedly cool. As with their album cover, which is just... A sight to see. It's got so many hidden gems, and it really kind of feels like you know King Gizzard inspiration with all the, the you know all the alligators, right? Uh, highly recommend it. And I wish that it could be, it could replace the soundtrack to the Batman TV show or to Pulp Fiction. Graphic Mo rating gives it an 87. The Shape of Fluidity by Duel, a gothic prog rock album released on April 19th. Heck yeah. I almost forgot about these guys and gals. Their last two albums I loved. I, could, I couldn't wait for, for, for this one. These psychedelic prog gothic, you know, Dutch rockers are, are awesome for fans of Duel. Just one letter off. Ah, sneaky bastards. Uh, but seriously, this is a vibe band. They just, they have like this silky, seductive essence to them. It's, it's... 
And it's also, they got, you know, like strikingly powerful front woman. She demands your attention. She comes with attitude, you know, and just confidence. It's just uh, powerful, powerful. That's really the secret sauce to them. And their, and their song structures. They got a good grasp on that. Uh, graphic model rating gives it an 86. I'm not going to attempt to pronunciate this, uh, quite frankly. It's a groove stoner heavy metal album released on April 12th. I don't know what's in that chalice, but it sure sounds good. It's a rocker's dream. It's filled with all sorts of charm, upbeat, bluesy groove and, and inspiration. It's like if Raw it, it merged with Tool. It's, and I love hearing them fuse like their traditional music to pay pay homage to you know their their homeland but infusing it with buzz rocky just rock and roll right this is it elevates itself because of its ability to be able to combine those two elements and don't be fooled even though on the surface you know they're they're you know just a hard rock band but there's so much more than that i i You'll be impressed with this one. Graphic ball rating is at a 91. <laughs> Solemn by In Vain, a melodic prog extreme metal album released on April 19th. I've been waiting since that day. I uh, to talk about this one. It, it was the, one of the most anticipated albums coming into year for me personally because Agnima, their last one, back all the way back in 2013, was, it's one of my all-time faves. So I was, I, I, I was a little bit weary because with this much buildup and time uh, uh, to do so, it's just, I, was, I was very concerned, but man, it did not disappoint. I, if you're not familiar with this band, just stop what you're doing and go and buy this album along with their previous albums. This is a band that will just, it will change your life. It definitely did for, for me. It's one of the most powerful, moving, uh, just, you know, palms of, of music. It's just, it, it's so emotional. The, the melodies that they're able to capture and the intensity and the epic nature of their delivery is out of this world. They, they just have a knack for how to, you know, bring a feeling, a story to life. It's just, and it really is like an ep it's epic, 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 epic. It just feels larger in life. It's, I have no clue where their hometown is. Like I know it's in Norway, but I, I, I don't actually know, but that's what's so cool about it. It's, it's just amazing that, you know, take a second here and just, you know, appreciate how music can transcend water space and time and this is one of those bands that can do that and i i thank them from the bottom of my heart for what uh you guys have done for at least for me personally graphic model rating gives this an emphatic 94 keep doing what you're doing we love you Shaman by Paul Bear, a prog hard rock doom metal album released on May 17th. More than a flame, it's an invitation into imagination. The much loved and praised Doomsters are back, and they are clearly determined to follow in the footsteps of bands like Opeth and move farther and farther away from their original roots. I love the emotion, the beauty that they are now instilling in this new direction. But I'll be the first to admit that they're not really built for doing prog rock. And I'm, and I'm saying this because, not bad, but Brett is not the strongest singer. So I'm having a hard time envisioning how, where they go with this, to be honest. It still is good. It's not unbelievable. Graph Metal Rating gives it an 83. Mm. 
Nell or Blue by Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats, an acid stoner psych prog rock album released on May 10th. The most controversial on the list, and it actually seems to have pissed off a lot of their, you know, loyal fans, so to speak. But I don't care. To me, this is a work of art. It's another one of those that, like, I wanted to talk about the day of, but I held off. Uh, look, they. this is an album that does a sensational job at just reviving the classic French noir film. It's beautiful. They're, you know, there's only one way to... To appreciate uh, and to to really listen to this album, quite frankly, it's it's in the dark with candlelight. Uh, m you know, maybe you could get by just by really strong soundproof headphones. Maybe also in in the car on a long road trip, but this one needs your un your full undivided attention. You can't have any distractions. You have to you have to be prepared to listen to the full 120 minutes and take in the story. Let it just take over you right because that what it that's its purpose right uh in fact and this is the reason why i kind of pissed off some people is is that like let's see you got actually i got it right here so 19 tracks right of, of them only three maybe four actual songs and by that i mean like you know like there's actual singing and like you know basic construct of what a song is everything else is soundscapes and spoken word uh, so this is an unusual album for anybody that's just looking to just kind of jam with traditional songs this is not that Right. Let's be very clear. This is only to be, uh, you know, to, to be gotten for those who really appreciate art, concept, themes, stories, just uh, soundscape, vibe, kind of kind of music. It's it's that. And it does a phenomenal job with that, which is why I score it so high. But I understand. Just just be careful with this one. But. Uh, major shout out to all the actors, the French actors that were involved in this. They do a great job, and and uh, yeah, also the sensational artwork, of course. And just, just I appreciate this one, the heart. Uh, so, Graphic Wild rating gives this one a 94. Fossil Gardens by Hail Spirit Noir, a black prog avant-garde atmospheric album released on June 28th. A strong cup of Bauhaus black art we have here. But I do have one tiny small ask. Cons Mark, put away your screaming into a box, lock it up, and throw away the key. You'll understand what I mean. It doesn't happen often, but when the singing does get unleashed, like, whoa, why are you not doing this more often? Graphic model rating gives it an 83. The Blossoming by Athera Conscienti. Maybe pronouncing that right. Prog death metal album released on June 7th. Another album you have to get past the weak vocals, but if you can, your ears are in for a treat. Blends black prog and psychedelic jazz. Also comes with a wicked cool sci-fi story of cosmic horror with a group of space travelers on the verge of death find refuge on a planet they call Hesperda, only to find that a native species lives there, lives here and abducts them, forcing them to integrate with their mycelial network and that governs the planet with horrific consequences. If you're lucky, you might even hear the next time you're in the woods, some trees just wakening up and, and speaking to you with a raspy, dark, evil, jazzy voice. <laughs> also, shout out to the superb cover art, which does a really good job representing the theme, the story, and it comes with pl a plethora of hidden gems like the mysterious uh, like eyes, you know, creatures like peeking out through, through the, the darkness of the woods. A must-have for fans of Enslaved. Graphic Metal rating gives it an 86. <music> 
Theories of Emptiness by Evergrey, a prog power metal album released on June 7th. Reliable and consistent, accessible prog, you know, rock metal at its absolute finest. With that said, the song Say is without a doubt, in my opinion, the best song they've ever written to date. But yeah, there's not much else to say because it's, it's, it's the same as what they've always been doing. It's another just strong output from them. Graphic Metal Rating gives it an 85. Les Chance del Iora by Elkest, a black prog atmospheric album released on June 21st. Serenity Now. It presents itself with warmth and emotion. It's like going on a hike during the golden hour and every picture you take is just beautiful. Your ears will thank you for this one. From France, it's their seventh. It's just it's so beautiful that honestly words just break down and lose their meaning. I dare you to listen to it and not cry. Graphic Metal Rating gives it an 88. Beyond the Eons by Octopoid. A progressive melodic death metal album released today, July 5th. Just came out. Bellacore meets Kingston Wall. You heard that right. What hell of a combination. It's filled with just charm, magic, and absolute brutality. It's a, it's a vibrant, you know, it's a vibrant album. It just feels like it uses the full range of colors to cast a dark spell onto your ears. It's... It's a little short, but I'll forgive it because it is her debut album and one, one hell of a start to, to, to their career. Also, re rewards repeat listeners because there's a lot of small intricacies that you hear on, on, on repeat listens, I think. Graphic Mall Reading gives it an 84. <laughs> Under the Shadow of a Foreign Sun by Pia Mater, a progressive death metal album released today, July 5th. Raise your hand if you miss Opeth. Hot off the press, this one you're going to rejoice for if you're an Opeth fan. And quite frankly, I actually think anyone that loves heavy music, this one's going to take over you. Uh, it certainly did for, for me. Man, it just it made an instant impact. I... I Listen to it now four times all the way through, and it's just, it's, I can't get enough of it. This thing is, to me, is, is without a doubt the prog album of the year so far. I, I, I'm blown away. I did this, sh the shadow captures both the, the darkness, right, that dwells in your soul while illuminating light, casting it through, piercing through, and guiding you all the way through back to, you know, relive whatever memories that you, you know, your heart desires, right? This is, it, it just, it will leave you in forever bliss. It's its beautiful. It's touching. It's an emotional album that will make a, a stamp, make a mark in, on your soul. At least it did to me. I, I truly found it to be just an absolute beautiful album. Uh, from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, these this two-piece, Igor and Luis, they've actually been active since 2010. This is now their third album. Uh, and honestly Igor and, and Louise thank you from the bottom of my heart this is this is it blew me away unbelievable great work graphic battle rating gives this one a 95 and speaking of such and a nod to their own hometown heroes in Sepatura check out our latest episode where we showcase how Sepatura changed Meadows past and present or continue uh, watching our, our Ghost Evite series where we deep dive into the lure of the band Ghost and ponder if they can become the next great big villain and rise to the masses and bring rock and metal back to the forefront of mainstream uh, music, uh, which we badly need, right? Until then, I'm Veer Von Wright, and you've been watching Graphic Metal. Cheers, and keep on rocking.